guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 of Judd on the Princess of Snow and Blood. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see how the hell I get stressed by the show today. Wait. Come on. I can you. <sighs> okay, Just, you know, at the same time, I feel like, I, I don't know why, I feel a little stressed, because of course, you, these two are running for their lives, um, Suki's also running for her life, and then Elena is just dead, which is fucked up, but then, you know, they could pull a fast one on us still, I mean, seven weeks in, she could be alive, <laughs> Every week I say this shit, and I'm like, yeah, she's she's she ain't dead, no. And, and the next thing you know, we're gonna probably get something, um, that possibly is going to confirm that yeah, Alina is dead. Because even though we had the moment in like a couple episodes ago when she found out she was pregnant, and um, her and her ghostwriter slash new husband. Um, we're going to run away together, and the next thing you know, Sawa saw her body, or really more of her hair, to indicate that's her, but I mean, still, who knows what the fuck they're gonna do. Seriously? Damn. Look at all the cats. Oh my god. No, 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 it's fine. It's not the best, but it's still something, you know? Well, yeah. She's too kind. Way too kind, but you know, it's okay. Because if it was me, I would have fucking killed her. <laughs> Oh, he's going to make you say something. 
Yeah, he did. Yeah. Statue. That's why you say no to drugs. Oh, is she gonna be able to go to school too? Uh oh. He's gonna fall in love with her. Mm hmm. She was already attending class. Oh! <laughs> you don't have any more, do you? Just that one. Are you trying to say handsome? <laughs> oh, come on, Sawa. Oh, that is so fucking cute. I can't. Okay, but how's Makoto now? Like, it seemed okay.
Yeah, but not really. Okay, give him the pills. Of course. She looks so peaceful. Hmm? Oh! Gone, of course. No, everything will be fine. You deserve to go out. Oh, it's just such a mood. Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Do you think it's because of Makoto? He's so 
Hmm? Yeah, you have to. You can't just keep it a secret. I know. Uh oh. Mm. Why? She's happy here. So you did keep one for yourself. Why? But in a way, her revenge is over, though! She doesn't need to do anything else!
damn it. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking son of a bitch. First she killed the sensei. I had a feeling he wasn't gonna survive because no matter what, you can't be happy, right? <laughs> but you killed I see you! Come on, man. I can't know. Elena's dead. <laughs> she coming back in. This is a spirit for her around Makoto. The sensei, man. The hot, good looking sensei is dead. Like, damn. He was only here for one fucking episode. And then that was it. Time to kill him. And then you kill the precious baby, Asahi. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, you son of a bitch, Makoto. Like, come on, damn it. You can't do this. This is some bullshit. All for Sawa to be Yuki Yuki again. She's technically done with her revenge. She didn't want anything else. She wanted to be happy. Have a normal life. Grow old. Watch Asahi grow up. Now she can't do that because she's dead. Oh my god. This damn show. Y'all literally killed the best girl from Popping Party. Y'all fucking killed Adisa, my fucking best girl at Popping Party, even though I am not a Popping Party fan anymore. Fuck y'all. Y'all are this. <laughs> this is some bullshit. You kill Layer. <laughs> from Raisa still in first. Then you kill fucking Adisa from Popping Party. You go kill. Is Umi from Love Live gonna die by the end of this damn series? Because we keep going on on that. And it would make the most sense for her to die in the last episode of this series, even though we are nowhere near there yet. But something tells me Makoto will be dying next. I'm sorry. Like, damn. I love her. But that the, the shit that just happened in this damn episode. Are you fucking kidding me? This bitch decided to kill technically two people who are important to Sawa all in order for her to get revenge and continue her her, uh, her revenge story even though her revenge story is fucking over she killed the, her, the one person who was in her way who took her brother used her brother uh, until he was technically still young but he didn't have that much energy left he was dying anyway and because her brother was like, I want you to go out with this child, save this child, and have a better life with this child, we all okay with that. And I'm thinking from episode 6 to the end of the damn series, these two were going to be okay. Nah, y'all wasn't really fucked out. We're, we're killing Asahi in episode 7. Oh my god, this is some bullshit. <laughs> this is some absolute bullshit, and I hate... Uh, I hate the fact that it ended, like, very abruptly. And I have no clue what the hell is going to happen next. Like, of course these two are probably going to fight to the death. Because of the fact is, you know, Sawa cares so much for Asahi. And Asahi was a precious baby. Oh, God. <laughs> fuck you. Just big old fuck you. Oh, my God. I love this show. I love this show oh so much. But doing that, like y'all just went a little too am far because I'm like it's a child. They're they're not gonna kill a child. Like 
I, I, you're thinking about like you know when you compare to, like horror movies and there is a child in a horror movie you're like okay automatically we're not killing the child the child was safe because we never want to go that far to kill a child in a horror movie but because of the fact is this is not a horror movie and everything but this is more like um historical in a way but supernatural at the same time it's like okay fuck it anybody could freaking die having Asahi dying in this damn no really actually no starting with the fact that Elena died that immediately kind of told everybody that yeah anybody from this series who was a main character can and possibly will die so yeah if this show does end with Sawa you know officially dying again and staying dead I would not be mad at it but I really thought that we were going to be like okay Asahi because she is a child um we were going to look the other way towards her. Y'all are literally doing this like Akudama Drive. Like, damn. I mean, because see, <laughs> Akudama Drive didn't start killing off their characters until like one episode, six, episode seven. They started, y'all started killing characters like episode five? No, not even five, four? By killing, you know, doing a double homicide with Alina and her baby. Like, damn, like, none of, like, in the end, I feel like none of these characters are going to have a happy ending. Or, in a way, their happy ending is them dying. That's the thing. This government and everything and, and the shit that they're a part of is so fucking corrupted that it is not even funny. But you know what? We got to wait until next week to see what the fuck happens next because, of course, I'm not ready for her to bury Asahi. I don't even want to see that shit next week. Ah. Oh! <laughs> god damn it but other than that guys that is our reaction view towards episode 7 of Jen on the princess of snow and blood if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next tuesday for episode 8 bye guys